Hi, I'm Gene, Marketing Manager for PowerColor North America, and uh, we're at Computex 2010, and we're here trying to uh, give you a sneak peek, a sneak peek at what's coming up at the end of June and early July timeframe. Um, we'll just start right here. Uh, we actually teamed up with Bigfoot, the, the, our network partner, uh, creator of the NetKiller 2100, and they approached us with a really unique idea of combining the NPU with the GPU. And so what we have here is the world's first combined 5770, and we call it the Sniper. And what this does is we actually teamed up with them again to uh, hook up a network card onto a video card. So this is the first one of its kind. And as you can see here, I don't know if you can zoom in, this is actually the NPU processor right here with the bridge right here. So um, it's still kind of in the testing phases right now. Um, but we expect to kind of optimize it hopefully by the end of uh, next month and, and release it to the public. Really targeting uh, the hardcore and the enthusiast gamers out there. Okay. So the next uh, evolution of the 5770 is uh, the world's first single slotted 5770. And as you can see, it's got um, heat sinks on the memory uh, VRAM as well. And this is the world's first Perfect for HTPCs or or, uh, or slim cases. Okay. And kind of in the same light, we have another version of our 5770, and it's a low-profile 5770. We got a lot of requests, especially from the, the U.S. market, um, requesting something low-profile, perfect for uh, slim cases again. The next one we have is, we call it the 5770, evolution and this is powered by the Lucia Hydra engine. What's the unique properties of this being that you will be able to combine uh, different ATI cards, different models for Crossfire without the actual physical bridge. So for instance if you wanted to combine this 5770 with a 5850 or a 5890 or 70 you'd be able to do that. Not only that you'll eventually be able to even uh, combine this card or anything with the Hydra engine with NVIDIA branded cards. So if you wanted to use the NVIDIA card for physics uh, games and then wanted to use the ATI for the ATI stream, streaming or, or something like that, you can actually be able to combine. So this is a really exciting product that uh, we hope that's going to be, be on, on release and available to the public in Q3. Q3? Yeah. Do you have a price point for that? I don't have any price points for these. It's still kind of... Uh, um, uh, in, t in test phases right now, so. And that's, that has a Lucid chip right on the. Correct. PC. Correct. It has a Lucid chip right on the, the card it's itself. The first time I've seen that. Yeah, it's it's the first time for for VGA. Um, we know it for motherboards. It's it's been done before, but uh, this is the first one for for graphics cards. So uh, moving along here, um, we have our 5550 and our 5770. PCS Plus versions. Um, the PCS standing for professional cooling system and this is our custom uh, cooling system that we have on some of our higher end cards and the plus designating that it's factory overclocked. So if you're looking for an extra performance boost for some of these uh, mainstream cards this is a perfect uh, solution for you. And moving on we have um, our Go Green series and if you haven't uh, heard of, of the Go Green series before, this is our um, uh, a product line that is uh, consumes less power than a regular version, passively cooled with with uh, copper heat pipes. With in in particular our 5750, which loses no performance versus a regular version. So not only are you uh, using less power and not uh, having to actually uh, even have an extra power connection to it, you're not losing any, any of the performance uh, that you have on the regular version. So next thing we have is our LCS. Now we released this a few months ago, and we released this a few months ago, and, um, and uh, it sold really, really well. And in fact, it sold out in the United States uh, a, couple a couple months ago, and the market demand uh, that we or in the request that we got uh, kind of led to us for the for the second version. So we're releasing the second version sometime in the next month or so. Um, to the this is a, actually the, the probably the most unique product that we have here. This is the PowerColor uh, 5970 uh, Radeon Affinity 12. 
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and so this, this is a very, obviously, obviously it's a very niche product right. and uh, it's, it's, it's not released to, to, uh, to consumers um, unless you have like 12 <laughs> displays just lying around that you want to hook up. Uh, but this is uh, mainly for commercial uses, maybe like TV, TV stations, metro stations or, or something um, on, on the work, uh, work end side. Work server side, so yeah. It's a big card. It's a it's a very big card, and uh, actually, I'm glad that you mentioned that. We have a very unique uh, little little gadget that we call the power jack, and uh, it, you, you probably might not even have even thought about this, but as cards are getting bigger, they're getting heavier, and uh, we're finding that we're seeing a little bit of, of of sag when you're hooking these up to your to your motherboards and to your case. And the power, what the power jack does is, you, all you gotta do is you slip this underneath the the card itself, and it supports the bottom end. Oh, okay. So instead of you know bending your case or bending any of the, the metal bolts that it's helping it, you can help just support it with the with the power jack. So um, we'll probably be bundling this with some of our higher end cards, and then making it available as a standalone product sometime in the future. So that's kind of a general overview of what we have here at Computex. And um, again, some of these newer products are going to be available um, to the public in the next month or so. And uh, there'll be some reviews on hot hardware for it, for sure.